What's up everybody and welcome to this little uh, kind of review-ish kind of video, also playthrough and commentary. Uh, I guess today we are going to be taking a look at Mars Rover Landing, which was released uh, from the time of this video about a week ago on Xbox Live. It is a collaboration between NASA and Microsoft. Pretty much doing a connect title to try and get people more interested in the different movements that they're taking in space and exploration. As the name suggested, you're landing a roaming vehicle on Mars. Mars rover landing. Woohoo! Now, the first part here, we are pretty much entering the atmosphere of Mars after the spacecraft has been in orbit for eight and a half months which you learn from one of their little videos that they include with the download and the basic premise is to try and keep it centered in the well little circle there and as you go through the atmosphere, it hits different pockets and turbulence, and you have to try and realign it by simply stepping to the sides, forward, or backwards. And the whole game is connect control to try and get people more... What's a good word for it? Basically to make them feel like they're part of the whole experience. And while testing out a few other things, I've had a Courtney play it and I've done it a few times myself. You can fail at each of the different points of this game. Uh, this one seems very simple as far as just keeping it in the center, but if you're not paying attention, your uh, degree of steps actually affect it tremendously. And if you go too far out, well, then it just loses signal and you have to restart the whole thing over. Now for this point you're simply triggering different parts at one time and every time it goes through this segment it's going to go to one of these four little control points. Now if you get five incorrect which I do not have a video of that on here but if you get it correct it'll look like a burned out fuse wherever that part was that you messed up on if you get five of them wrong throughout all of these different segments then you have to restart but it's fairly easy for the most part it's just difficult trying to get a hundred percent which is kind of what makes this a little addicting it's a very short game but a little challenging to try and hundred percent the entire thing which I'll go through that with the achievements and everything else later on As you can see, you can get either too early or too late. It's kind of like a little warning trying to tell you to either pick up the pace or slow it down a bit. Wish I had shown it uh, burning one out, but honestly, I didn't think about it while I was playing this here. This will be the last of the three segments actually trying to uh, guide the rover down. Very simple, use your arms to try and target it going to the left or the right without running out of fuel. Of course, uh, while shooting this video, there's actually an achievement for landing it with no fuel, landing it safely with no fuel, I should say since the crash landing is still technically a landing. And I figured, well, I may go for it anyway, and people will get to see what a crash looks like on here. Very, very anticlimactic, but what do you expect? It's uh, basically a learning game. And they'll come up and tell you what the hell's wrong with it. Even if you safely land it, they'll still tell you 
there's minor damage or major damage. Pretty much as long as there's enough for the rover to do something on the surface, you pass. Which will get you another achievement, which we will look at later. And I cut out my other segments. This is actually landing it correctly on the surface. Very, very simple game, but for something that's free, I am definitely not going to complain. It's kind of fun trying to master all the different little things. Plus, I can see where they're going with it, trying to uh, raise awareness to the kind of work that they put into the whole process and trying to get a new generation kind of into this whole scientific field. As you see, you get your landing accuracy and structural integrity and all that good stuff. And that concludes the very short game. You have seven minutes and they go through a whole explanation of why seven minutes in their little video feeds. Then the rover drives off onto the surface. Very quick demonstration, as you can see there, along with achievements, there are eight of them, there's also three Avatar Awards. I believe in the next part of the video I go through each of the achievements. So we got the first one, Landing on Fumes, actually somewhere in the middle as you can tell I unlocked a few of these. And then... Each one of the next ones is for completing a specific part of the game. There's three sections to it, so three achievements. Then we have some specialized ones, such as successfully landing it five times, uh, land it at full structural integrity, so basically not screwing up, and land it in the center so many times, earn five star perfect ratings, Basic kind of challenges. Then we've got the first two awards, men's and women's shirts, men's and women's pants, and then the last one is going to be a hat. And if you're a completionist, well, it'll keep you entertained for at least a day while you try and get everything. Depending on how aware you are of your movements. But aside from the game, it actually has more learning to it has all these little sections here, like this one is telling about the landing, going through kind of like a slideshow, explanation of everything. Very informative, kind of interesting. Nothing mind-blowingly amazing, but, you know, if you're into the kind of thing or looking to get into it, something to pique your interest a little bit. And with the landing, there's the rover, the mission, and beyond like what they hope to accomplish and all that other stuff. Plus there's a little video on how to land on Mars. Which is uh, the same guy who voiced the game. It's gotta get there going first. through kind of like a little... Oh, something you'd see on the Discovery Channel. A little special sneak peek of the whole process behind it. But that pretty much does it for this game. Um, based on my new little rating system that I'm going with. Wow, I just noticed how off my camera was on this whole fucking thing. I wonder if I smacked it once. Anyway, sorry, that was slightly off topic. Uh, I'm going to give it an A rating. Uh, I rank it pretty high up there because they definitely accomplished what they were going for. But, uh, obviously, as a gamer, I want more. Even if it is a free title, I still want more. Mainly because it's two Before giant fucking corporations that kind of went in on this and then a couple minor ones to put everything two, together. But an A rating, it's a free download, definitely get it and try it out for yourself. Later everybody.